Hi, I'm John Holden, and welcome to Earth. We're starting off our show here in the country down under, Australia. It's a country that's had its fair share of fires, drought, and floods, but nature always comes back to what you see behind me. Wide open spaces, green grass, wild animals, and in those mountains, mining. And when a mine closes down, that's when people band together to bring nature back in their own way, as you're about to see. Mining. Today, the need for sustainably mined minerals is greater than ever to meet the world's growing demand for products we use every day. Every part of our daily lives, whether it's a mobile phone or an iPod, all the stuff that comes to make up those is part of mining. Mining is very important for everybody in the world. Uh, in fact, if you think about it, if it's not grown, it's mined. But today, at mine sites like Dawson Mine in central Queensland, Australia, when a mine closes, the work just begins for restoring that land to its natural state. In this case, it's a first time ever rehabilitation partnership between global mining company Anglo-American and Komatsu, a global provider of earth moving equipment, banding together to return mined land to the native condition it was before mining ever began. Anglo-American has about 40 operations around the world in various commodities, in, in, including metallurgical coal, iron ore, nickel, uh, platinum, and so on. And uh, what's critical with mine closure planning across those 40, 40 operations is integrating mine closure with life of mine planning. We need to develop sustainable mining, and this is a very important part of that mining cycle. Uh, we used our machines initially to tear up this ground uh, so they could dig the coal out and now we're using our machines to uh, re re-establish the topography and help plant the trees again and close that mining cycle. This global partnership of mining giants is called Growing Together, for which Komatsu and Anglo-American have invited indigenous people and local school children to the Dawson Mine site to learn about their commitment to sustainable growth and actually help plant the first trees to restore this formerly mined land to its native roots. So today what you see behind me, we're actually going to be planting 9,000 trees. So we've come out with the local school kids, that's yeah, and, and obviously some of the Komatsu partnership and some of the mine personnel, which to show how important rehabilitation is. Today I would like children to learn that um, they, they are the future and if they can help um, prepare for the future and be part of the future. I'm really glad that we're helping the environment along because it's getting destroyed a lot now. So I feel like we should do like these things more often because, yeah. You know, children represent the future. They need to understand uh, the importance of mining, but the importance also that, that mining has to be sustainable, that we have to complete the cycle. And this is a very, very important final step to take the land back to where it was before we, before we started mining here. And what we'd love to do is have them back in five years so they can go and have a look at the trees that they planted and see that, that they're part of the sustainable future for the planet. But replanting a closed mine site like this is no small task. I mean, it's summer here in Australia in the upper 90s to 100s. That's why I'm carrying a water bottle for hydration, a bush hat for the sun, and most importantly, the right plants to place in the right site. In this case, nearly 1,000 native eucalyptus trees are being planted on this closed mine site that will someday grow to be shade trees for grazing cattle. What we're doing today fits in is um, carbon. So all of these trees that we're planting today will um, will fix carbon and will be a carbon um, sink into the future. The end result of reforestation projects like this can now be seen worldwide in such places as the Monongahela National Forest in West Virginia, where Komatsu has teamed up with Green Forest Work to bring the red spruce trees of the Appalachian Forest back to life in abandoned mining sites. Put the land back to the way it was or the condition it was prior to the mining. And I think that's the responsible thing that mining companies need to do. And uh, if this land was a forest before it was mined, it should be reclaimed as a forest or rehabilitated as a forest land. So it's really important to put these sites back and not only you know, green it up, but try to mimic the, the natural biodiversity that used to be here. Plant native plants, plant the things that were here prior to the mining. And that makes the system more resilient for 
things like climate change and bushfires and anything that might come at it if you have a, a natural system and plants that are genetically adapted to this environment then they're going to do really good here it has to be a sustainable it's got to be a balance uh, we can't just stop mining otherwise we'd all freeze in the dark um, but we have to look after our environment it's crucial i mean our legacy should be that we bring the land back to us close to what it was before we started mining for the important things we need in this world, if it's not grown, it's mined. And here in Australia, when the mine closes, it's what's grown in its place that really matters for this good earth.